The sun is shining a little bit <laughs> behind those clouds. We've got the solar panel set up. Five one wheels, an electric scooter, two phones, and a partridge in a pear tree. Charging off the last little bit of juice on this EcoFlow Max after we just enjoyed a delicious lunch of ramen. There's a storm coming, but the weather is still good today. And so we thought we'd take advantage of this good weather and make it a one wheel day. We're out riding our one wheel and we brought up a bunch of stuff so that we can make some ramen, some one wheel ramen. We have a portable power bank that's not only gonna help us cook, it's going to help us power our one wheels. And we're gonna talk about that today in this video. The EcoFlow Delta Max. What is the EcoFlow Delta Max? It's the ultimate portable power station. Kind of like those bulky portable generators, but without the bulk or loud noise or dangerous carbon monoxide. And instead of being fueled by dead dinosaurs, the EcoFlow stores its power in batteries and can be charged using the sun. With a capacity of 2016 watt hours, on one charge, the EcoFlow Delta Max can charge 13 one wheel pints, or six one wheel XRs, or six one wheel pint Xs, or four one wheel GTs. It's portable and ready to go, so I can take it on a PEV trip with my family and friends, or if the power goes out at my house or at a buddy's home, I can use it to power the fridge, freezer, CPAP machine, or other essentials at a moment's notice. I just had to get the last little bit of stuff from the car. Some people collect Pokemon, we collect ramen. This is our comfort food right here. So now that we have everything we need, we're going to be using this battery right here to cook some delicious ramen and to power all of our personal electric vehicles. Andrew, let's warm up some water. Let's get it going. We're gonna fire it up here and get started. On the display there, you can see we are at a 100% charge. And you can see we've got six outlets here. Now let's plug in the skillet. We're gonna get that going too. Oh, I gotta turn it on here. There, there we go, so there's a little light. light. Let's talk about the power output. There are six outlets and a bunch of USB and USB-C ports that can handle up to 2,400 watts total and surges up to 5,000 watts. If you have devices that are not sensitive to drops in voltage like an electric griddle, or electric kettle, you can enable a feature called X-Boost through their app on your phone, which will enable the EcoFlow to be able to handle up to 3,400 watts consistently. This is not going to be your college ramen, okay? Because we're going to kick it up a notch. Let me give you a peek here what we got. This is almost like a cooking show. We've got sliced pork belly, cheese. Yes, you heard that right, cheese and ramen. We've got some, whoa. The fan just kicked on, so the fan turned on. Shrimp and some scallops, some butter, and some eggs. This EcoFlow solar panel, we're gonna hook it up. It is kind of an overcast day, but this will give you an idea in overcast situations, just how much power you can uh, draw from the sun when it's cloudy like this. It's a little heavy. It's heavy. I didn't it's... expect it to be that heavy, but it's nice. Look how big this thing is. Oh, we'll just set it up for you. These are the 400 watt solar panels. It is cloudy conditions as you can see, but we're still able to draw some energy, almost 100 watts input, and the output so far from our boiling water and from the frying pan is Oh, it's about a thousand now. Let's talk about the power input. The EcoFlow Delta Max is basically a box that holds a bunch of batteries and smart tech. And on the outside, you have plugs to charge it via a wall plug or a car 12 volt port, or even solar panels. You can capture the power of the sun with solar panels, which on a sunny day did a pretty darn good job charging up the EcoFlow Delta Max. We have full Colorado sun today. We have the 400 watt solar panel hooked up to the EcoFlow. The EcoFlow is down to less than 10%. I hooked it up and in just a few minutes, you can see here, let's turn on that screen. You can see here, we're at 13% already. We're getting almost 400 watts in just from the sun, which is the max. So pretty impressive. At this rate, it'll take five hours to charge to full. The amazing thing is how fast the EcoFlow Delta Max charges up. Plugged into a standard wall outlet, it charged from nearly zero to 80% in about an hour and charged completely to 100% in well under two hours. Should we plug in something to charge while we're cooking? Just throwing a one wheel on here. Yep. 
It's 2016 watt hours, so you should be able to charge six one wheels from empty to full charge. Now we're drawing 1,772 watts with an input of 83. Okay, Andrew went to go ride. He's left me here to do the cooking and uh, the skillet is hot, so let's get started. Some butter, and unfortunately the only utensils I brought were chopsticks. Butter on there. Look at that satisfying sizzle. Nothing like pork belly. Shrimp and scallops. Look at that sizzle there. We've got the one wheels charging. We've got the skillet going. We're drawing off a fair amount of energy here, 1700 watts output we've got about 75 watts input let's hope for the sun to come out so we can get more energy in i wish i had smell a vision and you could smell how tasty this is Andrew needs to pick the ramen that he wants. Which one are you going to go with? Um, I'll do spicy seafood. You uh, open me up one of these guys. Okay. All right, let's take a little peek and see how it's doing here. Ooh, look at those eggs. <laughs> oh, look here, we've got a one wheeler. Yeah, I heard you guys got some power over here. Yeah, looking for some power? I am, I'm in the yellow. <laughs> he is, let's see, let's see the charge. Oh, wow, pretty darn low. Cold weather will kill your battery. You're getting like five miles to a charge now. Yeah, it's just a standard pint. We're gonna provide you with some power and uh, we're gonna make Darren a hot chocolate using our battery power. How's the hot chocolate? Delicious. All right. Perfect. One wheeler on his free time, comedian by trade. I got this in May. It's got 3,400 plus miles on it. That is amazing. And that is the OG pint right there. So how are we doing over here? You're yeah, that, great. those pork bellies, they're, uh, they're like cooked them. to a crisp. That's how I like them. They're looking good. The egg is ready. Okay, are the noodles ready? I get some more water rolling, boiling. Look at those beautiful colors. Some people, when they see ramen, they think MSG and headaches. For me, I just love it. I think this is this is comfort food for me right here. These are like baby scallops. We've got pork belly, eggs, shrimp, scallops, all because of the EcoFlow Delta Max. And the sun is coming out a little bit, so let's let's see the power we're getting from here. Okay, so we're getting 164 watts input, oh, wow. 2,391 mm. output. Mm. <laughs> Delicious. Noodles, perfect al dente. Pork belly, nice crisp. <laughs> that crisp, fatty goodness just bursting in your mouth. Amazing. Amazing. What are some of your favorite ingredients that you like to add in your ramen? You know, one thing that we forgot to put in here, and it's probably too late now, but I brought some cheese. You oh, may think what? I'm crazy. Have you put cheese in ramen? No. Sprinkle some cheese in there and let it kind of ooey gooey all over the place. And it is amazing. It adds this level of creaminess that you would never think of. I was really impressed with the battery power. I just think it'd be awesome for camping. Now I can actually take a Cabo Wolf Warrior or Cabo Wolf King out in the backcountry and tear it up and charge it right up. Great for camping, just for your outdoor adventuring when you're not going to have close reliable power. I was able to charge it in less than two hours from zero to full. And so if you were to take this out camping or adventuring and you need to recharge it, I mean, just drive down to a restaurant, plug it in, enjoy your meal you'll have it full ready to go after eating at the restaurant a lot of the battery power generators that i've been looking at they take four five eight hours nine hours to charge and they have a lower capacity this thing has a huge capacity and charges blazing fast and then the other thing that was surprising is i thought we were going to surge it with running the induction cooktop on there the the griddle and also boiling water in that kettle. But surprisingly, it just kept going. So it kept up with what we needed it for. And you can see the power in is, the power in is 140, it maxes out at 400. The battery is just over 2000 watt capacity. So if you're at full sunlight and drawing in 400 watts, it should just be slightly over five hours to, to fully charge the EcoFlow Max. So very impressive. And story time. So over the summer, I did a group ride with a bunch of one wheelers. We met at a park and, you know, as one wheelers do, we were just messing around at the park uh, before going on a group ride. But by the time the group ride started, because we had been all messing around, we were out of juice on our one wheels. Someone had a generator, a gasoline generator, and they were recharging the one wheels, uh, getting ready to go. 
um, I think this would be a great way to do it. You don't have to mess with noxious fumes, fuels. Uh, it's super quiet and it's very portable. It's so small. And so I think this is something that I'm gonna be taking definitely camping, outdoor adventuring, and group rides. Okay, for how much power is packed into this, it's surprisingly not super heavy. I mean, it's it's hefty, but uh, for all the energy it gives you, not, not heavy. Whee. All right, a successful day with the Eco battery, and now we are just packing up the car. And these one wheels, amazing for transporting stuff so easy we got we don't got horsepower here we got wheel power just like that <laughs>